Okay, so uh, good afternoon, everyone. I'm Xin Yan, a PhD candidate from Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. Uh, today, I will present a short paper titled Why do social media users share misinformation? Uh, the work is co-offered with my supervisors, Dr. Xin and Dr. Tang, as well as Dr. Lee from our school. So here is the agenda. And let's start with some background. So, there's no doubt about the popularity of social media. However, there is great doubt about the, information, the credibility of the information on it. While if social media is turning into an important information source, meanwhile, misinformation is spreading all over it. Such spread of misinformation causes confusion and anxieties among individual users, and it may even do harm. And it is also a big obstacle that prevents social media from unleashing its full potential. The spread of misinformation needs to be addressed, and that's what motivates us to conduct this current research. So, uh, what is misinformation? Most people will agree that it is inaccurate information. Uh, however, some will define it as inaccurate information regardless of intent, while uh, others define it either as intentionally misleading or unintentionally. So, in this study, we define misinformation as inaccurate information regardless of the intent because we are concerned about misinformation in the general sense and is spread by common users, but not with how it was produced. So, uh, the spread of misinformation currently is uh, increasingly being, being studied from the system side and most with the aim to detect the spread by analyzing and predicting the data transmission patterns. But on the other hand, the user side also needs to be addressed so that active strategies can be developed to prevent them from uh, sharing misinformation in the first place. Uh, so, because uh, while there are users who intentionally share out misinformation to mislead others, the misinformation would not become so viable without the help of the regular users. So regular users contribute to the spread when they just forward a piece of misinformation to their own network on social media. So for example, they may share a post on Facebook or retweet something on Twitter. Uh, but, and currently, what motivates these regular users to share misinformation are unknown, and understanding these factors could inform the social media applications as well as information literacy training to deter users from further doing so. So therefore, we proposed two research questions. First, we look at how prevalent is social media misinformation sharing among the respondents and if there are any gender differences. And second, we investigated the individual motivations and perceived information characteristics that prompt those regular users to share misinformation and also if there are any gender differences. So, the study used a survey method. Uh, respondents were asked about question, asked questions about their reasons for misinformation sharing on a Likert scale. Uh, the items are developed based on the usage and gratification theories as well as literature from information quality and Google research. The study sample comprised uh, students from two public universities in Singapore who are social media users between 18 to 29 years old. Uh, the data were collected using convenience sampling. So here are the items of the motivations uh, developed from the UNG theory. Uh, which has uh, four main categories, including entertainment, socializing, information seeking, self-expression, and data seeking. And here are the items of the perceived information characteristics drawn from the information quality research and human research. So, uh, in total, 171 responses were analyzed using descriptive statistics and independent sample data sets. Uh, the average, the average, average age of respondents were 24 years old, and more than 80 percent of respondents use social media every day. Uh, there are more female respondents than male respondents. So let's look at the findings. Well, the first research question, uh, it, unsurprisingly, more than about two thirds of the respondents indicate that they have shared misinformation on social media, and furthermore, the female respondents indicate they were, they were more likely to have shared misinformation on social media than male res respondents. This is an interesting finding, and we'll discuss it later with the results of RQ2. So for the second research questions, 
respondents rated the 29 items uh, on a scale of 1 to 7 to indicate to what extent the items matched their reasons for misinformation share. And here are the top five, top five uh, reasons. So uh, many of them are actually non-information though. Only the fourth was related to the information seeking motivation and UNG, which is, is sharing which helps me get others' opinions regarding the information or event. While the first three was related to information characteristics, and the fifth one was related to the self-expression motivation. So this top rank reason uh, suggests respondents' tendency to, towards sharing information that they consider fun and interesting, and they also highlight the motivation that is social in nature. Uh, on the other hand, the factors that are often taught as important in information credibility assessments were not permanent in the list. So the accuracy of the information ranked only 24 out of 29 items, and the authoritativeness of the information source ranked even lower at 26. The findings suggest that the considerations behind misinformation sharing on social media are quite different from those behind other forms of information seeking, information retrieval, and information credibility assessment. But this is also agreed with the recent discussions in human computer interaction and information behavior literature that the effective and motivational factors are often at play, such as self-expression and socialization. <coughs> uh, so for the second part of the second research question, the gender differences in the reasons of misinformation share. So this PC chart shows the overview of the result. As you can see, the blue line, blue line which is the female respondents, uh, in most cases, scored it higher than the green line, which is the male respondents. So indeed, uh, independent sample t-tests show that there were significant gender differences in 10 of the 29 items. So here are all the significant items list in descending order of the gen mean gender differences. <coughs> Nine of them were related to the U and G motivations, while only one was related to information characteristics, which is the seven. And in all ten cases, our female respondents scored significantly higher than the male respondents. And furthermore, uh, women, women uh, cited all four of the socializing motivations significantly more than men did. This uh, can be better interpreted, interpreted with the results we previously mentioned. So that is, uh, the study, this study found that women were more likely to have shared misinformation than uh, men in, on social media. However, uh, previous study also suggests that women are actually more cautious online. So this are uh, seemingly con con contradicts findings. Uh, so further testing is uh, suggest to look in, in, to see if this finding is common. So for future testing, we hypothesize that women, they may, view the, they may view their social media usage, which include misinformation sharing as more of uh, social activities than uh, informational activities. So and this is in line with the findings of RQ2 that they cited all four of the social motivation items significantly more than men did. So therefore, it is possible that they might, well, well they are more cautious in their online information seeking such as uh, evaluating information on Wikipedia, but they may not apply the same level of uh, caution when it comes to activities that they per perceive as primarily social, so such as uh, sharing information or misinformation with friends. So to sum up, the, this study found that users, uh, regular users, share misinformation on social media, often for non-informational Reasons. And the reasons cited reveal significant gender differences. Uh, this finding will provide useful insight for social, social media applications and information literacy channels to deter users from further sharing misinformation. So they may try, uh, they may want to target more on the effective and motivational factors, such as uh, to highlight how sharing misinformation would hurt one's reputation and socialization that their friends may dislike them. Uh, also, uh, the social media applications, they may want to improve their interfaces to facilitate critical analysis and collective sense-making. So just for example, 
they may pay more, more attention to features that can encourage users to flag official, officially debunk misinformation, uh, as well as features that can maybe display the accurate information alongside the misinformation. So given the uh, popularity and reach of social media, we believe that uh, the efforts in correcting users' misinformation sharing would be worthwhile. My presentation will end here. Thank you.